What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Showtime as the Blazer King, and we are back with Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. And I looked, and we have ten duels left, so I think what I'll do is I'll do three per episode, and then the final duel in the fourth episode. So, with the crisis averted, everything was back to normal so that the GX tournament could continue. The final round had Chaz facing the young and mysterious newcomer, Blair. Chancellor, the tournament has decided a winner. What? Chaz defeated every member of the Society of Light. It's good to be Chaz. Well, if there's no one else left, then our winner is... Hold, hold that thought. He hasn't beaten me. Then it looks like the tournament is still on. What's the prize for first place? I'll grant the winner anything they desire, within reason, of course. Deal. When I win, I want the white door and torn down and the good old blue dorm brought back. Done. What about you? If I win, I get into the Slifer Red dorm. Slifer Red? The winner deserves to be an obelisk blue, but hey, who am I to stand your way? Hey, wait. I know you. You're that grade school kid. You know her? She tried to sneak in last year. She was obsessed with J- I was reading Z Jane and Zane at the same time, so- Zane? But I think now she has a thing for Jane. The name's Blair, and don't you forget it. Well, we're just... Oh, no, wait. The thing where she was pretending to be a boy was the first time. Oh, duh. My bad. Well, you're not going to forget that. You're about to get chazzed. That that sounds like a sexual thing, Chaz. Get chaz all over her hair. Then again, at this point, she is, like, closer to her age, so... Or his age, I guess. I, I don't know. The time skip is weird. Or was she all, all, already, like, around their age? I, I don't fucking... I, I don't even know. I can't fucking... I can't keep track. Should I just willingly go second so I can attack and stuff? Or should I go first to use trap card? No. He has little trap cards compared to... Most other decks. I was about to say, watch, I pull a bunch of trap cards. It, it It is kind of annoying, though, how they have the, you know, Legacy of the Duelist emblem in the corner of every single card. Like, what was the need for that programming? I see. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh, wait. You do require all three of the specific ones. Lame. Oh, uh, so if I do this, do I get to fuse just right from my hand? Yes. Okay. So we're going to do that. So we're going to do this. I know it's removing from play two of my important ones. Or should I just... I'll get rid of the red because I have to banish them anyway, so... Um. Oh, duh, I'm still in the middle of using the effect. I was about to say, why can't I activate another spell card? Hmm. Well, that's just a little bit annoying, but... I 
can still attack with this one. Since when did Zane or Zane Chaz have magical hats? Oh, I just took three hundred damage. Well, that's annoying. I could ram it. Yeah, it's probably better to ram into it. There, now if I pull another red, I'm not sure if I have another red in deck, but... I do pull another red, I can do shenanigans. Another red. Ooh. So many old Jawas. This is the first time I have ever and probably will ever get to do that. <laughs> Fucking... oh, I actually used Ojama Delta Hurricane. What is life? <clears throat> I lost. Why do I always seem to end up behind? Lesson one. Winning or losing doesn't matter as long as you had fun. That's some free upperclassman advice. That was so deep, so wise. Lesson two, I'm the fucking best! Wasn't it Jane who taught you that? Plagiarist! Jane? Of course, he's the dreamiest. <laughs> Fuck you, Blair. The winner of the first GX tournament is Chaz Princeton! Jane began his third year at Duel Academy in chat. Okay, hold up. Did we just time skip? Like, by a lot? Because wasn't he just entering his second year? Whatever. And Chancellor Shepard brought in the top duelists from other duel academies located around the world. Chancellor Shepard called the entire student body together to introduce the new transfer students. With each new year comes modification and improvement. Here at Duel Academy, we strive for perfection. So to keep each one of you at the top of your game, we've invited a few new students to join you. In fact, they represent the top students from each of the four Duel Academy's worldwide branches. Visiting us all the way from East Academy, Adrian Gecko! Fucking nerd. 
and hailing from West Academy, please welcome Axel Brody. He sounds like the name of a rock star from the 80s. Oi, mate! Yes, next, joining us from the branch in the south, it's Jim Crocodile Cook. And last, but certainly not least, well, I mean, he is... Whatever. Leading the pack at North Academy, it's Jesse Anderson, who sounds kind of like a wrestler, but instead he's kind of a dweeb. I'd also like you to meet our new visiting professor from the West Academy. Say hello to Professor Thelonious Viper. It's an honor for those of you who have heard my methods are strict. You're right. However, I've always felt there is a method to my madness. I believe actions speak louder than words. So, why don't we skip over the pleasantries trees and get down to business? Why don't we kick off the year by holding an exhibition match right now? Jesse Anderson and his opponent will be Dual Academy's top student, Jaden Yugi. Jesse, you're a nice guy, but I'm not going to go easy on it. That's how I roll. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't expect anything less from Jaden Yugi. So as they say, let the best duelist win. Ready? You bet. Get your game on, you fucking little bitch. Please tell me I'm playing as Jesse. Please tell me I have Crystal Beast. Please. Damn. Didn't Jane lose to Jesse the first duel? Or did he barely win? Hmm. Uh, I know I'm going to want to eat something else tonight, but do I want the rest of that sub, or do I want ramen? I kind of want my ramen. I feel like I should just go for the... I, I'm just going to go for the... HP increase, because why the fuck not? Or LP, not HP, Jesus. I am a mammoth. So that's basically pointless. Uh, That's a topaz tiger. Well, that'll send them both to the spell trap zone, which... Actually, that'll increase... Ooh, yeah, alright, sure, why not? To be fair, I was waiting for another Topaz Tiger. Do I have another one? Please tell me I have another one, at least so that this wasn't point lip. Fuck. Ripadipskis. 
Oh, wait, I didn't... I needed to activate Neospace and let me guess there is. But you know what? I'm gonna make the smart play and see if I can do it anyway. I can't, haha. -ha. Alright, so I fucked up in the first place, but... Now I have two of them. And both of them are at 2100, so zero of his Crystal Beast can get by me. So unless I put a fourth there and he activates Abundance, I should be fine. That was kind of a misplay on my half, but you know, whatever. I swear got off that face down card is Abundance. Oh wait, no, he didn't send it to the thing, so... Hmm. Oh, uh, is he gonna have Crystal Right Geki? Though that only destroys one of my monsters, so. Last resort. Even at half, well... <clears throat> nice duel! I could have beaten you if I had raid mode dragon in my deck. What do you mean, bro? Corn to legend. The soul of rain... Oh, oh, I'm sorry, everyone. Like, Corn to legend. The soul of rainbow dragon. No, that... Mm. Did he have kind of a southern accent, too? I don't remember. Whatever. The soul of rainbow dragon lives inside an ancient stone tablet. No one knows where to find it. But when it is found, according to Pegasus... It's going to be made into a dual monsters card. Excellent. A fitting start for the new semester. Your first lesson. Or I'm sorry. Lesson is complete. As I explained to you before, I fancy myself a man of action. You learn by practicing. So I'll be organizing mandatory duels every day, and I suggest you comply. Because from now on, I'll be monitoring your every move. You're my pupils now, and to succeed, you must duel. Waha ha 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 ha. Tsk. Oh man, something's not right about this. What gave that away? That maniacal laugh. I don't remember his voice. Uh, it was two this episode? Yeah, so we have time for one. Actually, we do have lots of time for one more. Wow. Later on, Professor Viper called another school assembly in order to introduce his new invitation. Invention. Feast your eyes on my newest invention, the Bioband. Starting now, you are all required to wear one. Over the next few weeks, you'll take part in a series of survival duels. You will all begin with the same ranking, regardless of your dorm color or grade level. These devices systematically gather and transmit data about your dueling ability to a central computer, which then measures your energy, evaluates your decisions, 
engages overall fighting spirit. I'm sorry, spirit. Once the evaluation is complete, or I'm sorry, is complete, each of you will be given a score, and failure will not be tolerated. They say you're best of the best. They call you the people the elite. Now prove it. Meanwhile, Axel Brody captured Cyrus and used him to draw Jane into a survival duel. Help me! I will fear her dangling over deadly cliffs! Let him go, Axel! I don't think so. I'm sorry. What was his voice there? Whatever. I don't think so. Well, not yet, anyway. Your friend here just saved me a world of trouble instead of hunting you down. I just sat back and let you come to me. So that's what all this is about? Give me a break. I'm always up for a duel. If you want to throw it down, all you have to do is ask. Maybe, but I couldn't take that chance. Besides, hogtying your friend over a cliff was way more fun. Take him down! Relax, it'll come down sooner rather than later. Because if you win, I'll release him. If you lose, he takes the fall. There's only one person that's going down, that's you. So as they say, well, as I say, get your game on. And just, it, it was all weird from there. Uh, am I first or yeah I am first Ah, oh, you whore. That spell card is gonna be end up to be a burden. Case in point. Hmm, that was a weird exchange. Hope my monster didn't die this time, so... Sweet. Oh wait, do I have... Aww. Uh, I was hoping I'd have the one that's actually fusion between these two, because that would've been just really cool.
You know... I'm not going to give up right away on this because I might draw something helpful. I won't call this helpful. There. Now he has no choice but to pick one of my heroes. And either way, it's something that'll help. I mean, having Avion now that Burstenatrix is dead sucks, but... Yeah, I kind of knew that was about to happen. I'm sorry, what in the fuck is that? So I pretty much lose with that thing out, because I don't know what I'm supposed to do to it. Unless I have, like, Grand Mole hidden away in my deck somewhere. Or, like, Full Burst Stone Tricks and Skyscraper. Okay, now you're just playing dirty. Alright, well, we're going to give that one more try because we totally should have won that. Like, really, that spell card is just so broken. Where are we at? 28. If we go a long time, we go a long time. This is not the most preferable hand, but you know what? Guess we gotta work with what we got. That only put him up to fucking 13, which what will that really do? Oh my god. I, I'm just getting such bad starting hands. Like, the last duel wasn't terrible for it, but... Oh dear lord. Like, if he gets the volcanic thing out turn one, it's pretty much over anyway, unless I get lucky. You can't do- yeah, I, can, I can't do anything with this hand. Like, I know when to accept defeat, because I literally could not do anything with that hand.
See, that I might be able to do something with because I think Nightshade is in the stack. I might be wrong. It is not. Fuck. Are any of the Necro Shade infusions in here? I got Wildman, I got Flare Scarab, I got Wingman, and Shining Fire. Eh. Motherfucker. Of course it would be a spell card that takes him out. I just got hit by a token. Y'all just realize I'm an idiot. I need my wild hearts, but I think I have three of them in deck, so as long as I don't summon the third one, I, I'll be fine. Because, yeah, Wild Wingman is actually the key to victory in this. Unless he just literally dead draws, which is fine with me. I've been doing it too, because... Let's see. You can discard one card to just target one spell trap card on the field and destroy it. Yeah. Right, so let's pull the last one to hand. We won't summon this one, though. We will summon the Spark Man, though. That's 31. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to win if I summoned the other one, so what's the point? Alright, are we just gonna win because he got a dead draw on this one? Ugh, that's annoying. Oh, yep, that's really annoying. But all I gotta do is draw into Avion and I win. Or Neos, I can run to Neos too and do damage. <sighs> you know, I still have card advantage, so that really is just annoying and not really detrimental. Okay, now it might be detrimental if I can't draw into Avion. Ha! I win. I don't win this turn, but I still win. 
Because he has one card in hand, so what is that one single card going to do? Well, in the end, we won't have, you know, a card in hand to ditch anyway, so. After the duel ended, both Jane and Axel's biobands activated and began to glow with an eerie yellow light. Both of them lost consciousness and collapsed. And boy, for the people who haven't actually watched GX, that's kind of a cliffhanger, isn't it? So, if you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, ring that bell, like Facebook, follow Twitter, Twitch, because I stream and upload every single day. And until next time, it's been the Blazer King, signing out. Ta-ta for now.